Hey Assassins, this is Wheel and welcome to part 3 of my fully detailed Home Alone Mansion tutorial series. If we pop outside, I will tell you what's going on today. So, in today's video, if you didn't see part 2, definitely go check that out, link in the description below. We're going to be going ahead and building the interior for all of the walls that we made in part 2. So basically building this entire first floor and calling it 100% completed. It is going to be quite a long section today, as you can see through these windows, we do have a lot of things to build, but it is going to be super fun, and uh, I don't know about you, but I actually quite like building furniture. I'm not the greatest at it, but it is pretty awesome. So yeah, without further ado, let's grab the materials we need and get building. Let's go for it. Alright guys, so when you come into our Home Alone mansions at the moment, they're looking pretty plain. But that is okay, we are going to take ourselves some time today and get all this place looking like a family home. So, we're going to be starting on the far left sort of room over here. So where it's got that dark oak back door. We're going to be dropping in here and getting this place looking furnished. Let's grab some spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slab, spruce trap doors, lanterns, black concrete, levers, flower pots, cacti and some oak leaves. First things first, let's take our flower pot, go to the left side of our back door and drop the flower pot in the corner like so. Then we'll put a cacti in the flower pot like that. And then we'll take three oak leaves above the cacti like so. Now if you're building in a snowy biome, like I am, then your oak leaves will go a bit dark. That's why they look a little bit more sort of dark green than the lighter colour that's shown in my hotbar here. Awesome. We're now going to take ourselves our spruce wood stairs. We'll go next to the cacti and the flower pot to the left, so more towards the window. We'll place one facing this way. So it's actually got the back of it facing towards the flower pot. Then we'll go one, two, um, yep, two along like so. And then we'll go ahead and flip around this way for one corner one just in front of the first window like so. Next, we'll take ourselves our spruce wood slab. We will leave one, two blocks away from that sort of stair we ended on a minute ago. And on three, we'll go ahead and place a spruce wood slab. Now on two corners of this, we'll place spruce trapdoor here and one here as well. Now this is to represent a little corner chair and it's actually the sort of armchair Kevin sits in whilst he's watching the gangster sort of program on, uh, well, film on TV. So we can go ahead and build that unit that this TV is sat on. So let's take ourselves a block made with slabs, another block made with slabs to the right of the back door, by the way, a third block and then a fourth block, just like so. Then we'll go ahead and take ourselves some more slabs. We'll go just the slab sort of down from the top, if that makes sense. So we're like slabbing half of the block. We'll go along for three, like so. And then we'll build another pillar of four in total blocks made of slabs, like so. Then we'll go ahead and build up the bottom with three normal blocks. Then on the left side, we'll place two black concrete blocks just here. And then besides that, to the right, we'll place an upside down spruce wood step, like so. Now we can take our levers, place them on top of the black concrete, facing away from one another, so they look like antenna for the TV. And then we'll place a lantern on that upside down step on the little unit, just like so. Awesome. This side of the room is almost done. We just need to add some carpet and some banners for the curtains later on. Let's go over to this side. So next to this sort of front facing window, we'll drop down here and place an upside down step just here, one upside down step in the middle like so, so it's not got the corner on, and then another one with the corner on just like so. So we're kind of covering up these three uh, brick blocks for the exterior wall. We'll place a lantern on the far left side, and then in the middle of this desk we'll place a normal spruce wood step facing the right way for a little chair of the desk. Now then from our desk we'll go behind it to these three brick blocks. We'll take ourselves four blocks in the corner over here, made of slabs of course. That is three, there we go, that's four. And then we'll leave a block gap and place another four over here, like so. Then we'll take our slabs again and we'll actually place slabs in the gaps a slab block away basically, like so, to build a little unit just behind the desk, like that. Awesome! Okay, I think we're about ready to grab some new materials. So now grabbing ourselves some spruce fence, some white stained glass, some iron trap doors, brown banners, paper, end crystals, item frames, a torch, and some brown carpet. We'll now go ahead and finish this room. So let's go to the middle of our glass window over here, 
and actually a block away to the left from the sofa. We'll place one, two normal spruce vents like so. Now one of them will connect up to the block on the bottom, but the other one shouldn't connect to the glass pane. We can then go ahead and take some white stained glass above that and place an iron trap door above that. Now that's supposed to represent a standing lamp, but I know it doesn't look like much of one. So if you also want to get some white banners and sort of dangle them down on the glass block, that would also look pretty cool. Let's take our brown banners and go ahead and place them on the quartz blocks on both sides of our windows. So one and two, and then one, two, and three for that side as well. Now we'll take ourselves our brown carpet. We'll go around the sort of seating area and make sure the floor is looking cool. So I'll place two brown carpet here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and a final three just here, like so. Then we'll spin around this direction and we'll also place ourselves another sort of carpeted area. So two behind the chair, then we'll go ahead and put three, three, and a final three. We'll do next to the lamp, like so. So kind of diagonal from the lamp. Yeah, that's looking cool. Then we'll place an item frame on the desk in front of the seat with a bit of paper in facing the person sat at the chair. Then we'll place a torch beside that to the right. And then lastly, we'll place two item frames up from the lantern with end crystals in like so. And this room is now completed. The first one of many to go. That is awesome though. Cool. Let's get onto the living room. To get us started on our living area, we're gonna grab some block of coal, some iron bars, block of quartz, smooth quartz slab, oak leaves, soul torch, cyan stained glass panes, wood, <laughs> wood slab, no that doesn't make any sense, spruce wood slab, and some spruce log. Gosh, can you imagine if I just said that wood? <laughs> that would have been very, very bad. Okay, so first things first, let's take our spruce log. We're gonna go to the back of our sort of fireplace area. We're gonna place one just there on the right, uh, left side, sorry. Now on the right side, we'll place a sort of normal spruce wood slab, like so. Then we'll take ourself block of coal. We'll break into the floor just here for those two out from the front of those. And then we'll go ahead and break four in front of those two, like so. Next, we can take ourself block of quartz for two lots up there and two lots the other side, like so. Then we'll take ourself smooth quartz slab and we'll run it along the top for four, like so. Now we can go ahead and take ourselves some iron bars. We'll go ahead and put these along four blocks of uh, block of coal in the floor. Then we'll take our cyan stained glass pane and we'll run these around and over the top of our windows like so. So they're actually connecting to the top of the glass panes. And we'll do it the other side as well. Now don't worry if they connect up to the iron bars for the fireplace because it actually looks pretty cool because it kind of drags it out a little bit further to make it go along the actual block, which is awesome. All right, that's looking great. Now I'm just gonna quickly swap out one of my materials and I'll be right back. So I just swapped my slab for some brick block because I completely forgot to fill in the rest of the fireplace. So we're gonna go behind our slab and fill in these two blocks, these two, and then finally those two up there. Now we can take some soul torches, place one here so it's in line with the top of the window and one the other side in line with the top of the window like so. Then we'll take two oak leaves in between them like that. That's looking great. All right, next what we'll do is we'll go over here. We will go from our sort of cyan stained glass pane. We'll go one, two, three. So count three along like so. Then we'll go out by a block here and then we'll go out by another block just here. And then we'll build a little tree just here. Okay, so for the tree, what we're going to do is go up to about uh, two, three, and uh, let's go, let's go three blocks just for now. Yeah. Then we'll take our oak leaves and we'll put one on the top. We'll put one, two on all sides like this. Then we'll go ahead and basically make this to a Christmas tree. So we'll go ahead and add blocks in around this, like a small tree. Then we'll go ahead and add another block to make it pointy at the sides like this. And then we'll finally go to the bottom and on the inside, we'll just go ahead and place four in like so. It's a very, very bushy tree, but it's cool. <laughs> now the last thing we can do with these materials is take our oak leaves once more, go to the right side where our cyan stained glass pane are. We're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, 
and up to full just so we're in line with the top of the panes like that then we'll drop back down to the third one and we'll place one here and one just here for a little strange looking plant in the corner awesome all right i'm going to go switch up my materials and i'll be right back now then let's take some white carpet some brown carpet some oak wood slabs some spruce wood stairs some spruce wood planks brown stained glass a chain lanterns and some white stained glass panes what we're going to do is go down to our christmas tree over here we'll go out from it just to here so next to the oak leaves we'll go one two like so and then we'll go ahead and go to just behind this so here and build this one along the front of the fireplace until we're in line with our cyan stained glass panes now we'll build this up to the point we've got over here and then we'll go ahead and connect this so there should be two rows of four left in the center those can be filled in with some brown carpet like so next we'll take our oak wood slab we'll place one just here so not quite at the end of the rug and not quite this way so it's kind of just there then we'll build a block here and build a block here and then we'll build a block here and then place a slab on that block just like so a little corner armchair in there next we'll take our spruce wood planks we will go behind this sort of chair just here and we'll go one two three up so we're in line with that leaf just like so then we'll run along the bottom for one two three four and five just like so so we're a block away from this wall and then we'll build up the two over this side so it's in line with that one then we can take our spruce wood steps and place them facing into one another like that and then we'll run planks along the top for those four now we can take our stairs again and place two here and two here just like so for little shelves and finally we'll take some brown stained glass and fill in those four blocks to add a little display case in there like so now we'll go back to our rug we'll go a block away from this longer side and we'll place one block just there and another block just there and we'll also do the same on this side like so then we can go ahead and put slabs along these four then we'll build a block in here for a row of four and then on these back four we'll put a slab on top for a big old sofa like so awesome now we can take some spruce wood steps again go behind this so go behind the left side of the sofa's arm and place one facing towards the sort of lobby area then we'll place a normal facing one and then we'll place one facing towards the room we completed a minute ago now we'll go to this side and place two just on the end like so and then on the closest one to the fireplace we'll place a lantern and then over here the closest one to the lobby we'll place one as well to add another one of these units we'll go to this corner over here where we added in the christmas tree and next to our cyan stained glass panes we'll place one stair just like so and then we basically want to add in three upside down steps alongside that that's a little bit tricky to get under the tree maybe i should have done that before but there we go that's looking pretty cool and then we'll place one lantern besides our chair just like so just so it lights up that back corner that's looking great then we'll now stick a chain just on here for a little sort of display ornament and we're going to need to come back to our fireplace later for some more display things for now though let's go ahead and add another rug in so this rug is going to go behind our sofa we're going to line it up with this thing over here well sorry the back of the sofa over here and we'll run the white carpet along until we reach that chain like so then in this gap we'll add in our two brown carpet like so that's looking great okay now coming on to our final sort of display case over in this corner we'll take one two three on the second block in from the main lobby doorway and then we'll go ahead and leave well we'll build two blocks next to that to the right and then we'll build another three block high pillar like so we'll put the stairs on top of these pillars facing inside to one another again and then we'll place two planks up here and then we'll do a step here and then we'll do two steps up here and then a lantern besides the one step on its own like so now a block away on the floor of this unit we'll place one two three four for three rows of carpet like so that is looking so cool all right we're on to the final step of our living area let me grab some new materials and i'll be right back 
Okay guys, so back in our living room, I have grabbed myself some dark oak signs, some dark oak fence, dark oak trap doors, dark oak wood slab, lantern. Once again, I'm so sorry about that. I completely forgot there's a little cheeky lantern that actually sits right in this corner. Let's just place it down now. We're also going to need some oak saplings, a flower pot, loom, and some white stained glass panes. I'm also sorry about missing these out. I completely forgot a minute ago to use them. We're just going to use these for the doorway here. So we're going to build one, two, three, four, up like so, on both sides of our doorway. And then we'll also bring them forward, just like so. So they kind of curve out like that. Gosh, what a noom. I'm so sorry, guys. Completely forgot to use them. That is my bad. Okay. So, this grand piano that we're going to be building in the corner over here was actually originally designed by Green, I think. So, big shout out to Green. Obviously, you guys probably know who he is. Legendary builder. If you don't, definitely go check him out. Definitely go subscribe. You will be blown away by his insane, you know, creations and stuff. He's a legend. So, um, yeah, definitely go check him out. Alright, so to get started with this grand piano, what we're going to do is we're going to go to two blocks away from this carpet over here. So I'm actually going to go to sort of, let's go to the third line up. So if we're going this way, we're going to go one, two, three. Then we'll leave a two block gap just here. And we'll go onto this one and we'll place one, two fence like so. Awesome. Then I'm going to go ahead and build a block on top with my slabs. And I'm also going to build a slab on top of both of those like so. Then I'm going to build a slab block back here for two. Like so, so that's actually connected to the wall and the window but it's also sort of diagonally away from those ones. Then I'm going to go ahead and build another block here. And then I'm going to place a loom in front of it like so. Then I'm going to place another two blocks here like so. And two blocks next to that loom just like so. Then I'll place two more looms there like that. Looking cool. Then I'm going to go ahead and place myself a slab block just here. Now it's a little bit awkward. Sorry, a normal slab. It's a bit awkward to get the slab in here, so we have to sort of place it there and then remove the sort of block we make. So we'll sort of do this weird design around and over that first loom. And then we basically want to do the opposite of this for this next one. Now we shouldn't get a block, that's cool. So we build it up like that, and then we go back on ourselves like that. So we kind of cover it over. Cool. Now we can take ourselves a fence again, stick it there. And that should hold up the top bit, which it does. And then we'll also go ahead and build a block just here as well, like so. And then we can take ourselves some of our dark oak signs, place them on the front of the looms with no text on, of course. They're just kind of for a bit of show, like that. And then we'll take our dark oak trapdoors. We'll place three basically alongside of our grand piano. Now this one on the loom gets a little bit awkward. So you kind of need to find a place to kind of crouch click so you can place it on like so. And then we stick a fence just underneath that loom there. And a fence towards the back. Kind of a block away from the other one. So it looks like the things that hold up the grand piano. The legs of the grand piano really. Then we'll take a flower pot. Put it under that slab like so. And then an oak sapling under that like so. That's looking pretty cool. Awesome. I like that. Alright so we're going to go diagonally away from this sort of loom here. Where there's like a cluster of two. And we'll place a dark oak wood slab on the floor like that. And then we'll fold a dark oak trap door like that just behind it. So it looks like a little piano stool. So you can sit here and play the piano all day. That's awesome. One last thing for this living area. We're going to take an item frame and some ink sacks. And we're going to place one, two, three, four item frames along the quartz slabs of the fireplace. With some ink sacks kind of facing a little bit diagonal with the top bit facing upwards for the stockings. Now this is obviously vanilla Minecraft stockings, so if you guys are on the festive texture, feel free to use whatever block looks like a stocking the most. That is epic. All right, nice one. Okay guys, so next we're gonna work on the lobby of the mansion, which is basically this big long corridor that kind of runs in the center of the house. We'll take ourselves some spruce wood stairs, some spruce trap doors, lanterns, glass panes, just the normal ones, Smooth quartz slabs, brown carpet, oak leaves, dark oak wood planks, and some dark oak doors. Now first things first, I'd like to go ahead and place my dark oak door over here. Now I know it's going to be connecting to that side of the wall, but I actually want the hinges to be on this side. 
So I might have to go ahead and break some blocks there to place it in and then just replace those blocks in there. Now once you've replaced those blocks in there, if you've picked block the brick block once again, like I have, we can actually take this and fill over the doorway we made earlier over there. Then we'll take our brown carpet. We will build one, two, three, four, five. Lots of it just there, connecting up the two corridor doorways. And then do it for two rows of five like so. So now we have basically ten um, blocks of carpet in the floor like so. Well, up just above the floor. That's looking great. Alright, now what we need to do is take our spruce wood steps. We're going to go a block in from this wall over here. I'm going to place one here. Then I'm going to place an upside down one to the left of that one. And then I'm going to place another normal one just beside that as well. Then I'm going to take some spruce trapdoors and place them above the steps folded up against the wall like that. Next I'll take my glass pane. I will go diagonally up from both of the spruce trapdoors and place it just there. And I actually want to be able to put some lanterns above the spruce trapdoors as well. But of course they're not going to be suspended in midair by themselves. So we're going to use our smooth quartz slab to build a block where our lanterns would be dangling from. Like so. And in between these we can just stick a normal slab like that. Don't worry about that looking weird at the moment because we're going to incorporate the staircase in a later on video that kind of curves around here and goes back up to the second floor. Awesome. Next what we'll do is we'll take our brown carpet again. We will go ahead and run this from the step here all the way along until we're a block away from the door just down there. So another five blocks in total. That is looking awesome. Okay, now two blocks away from the bathroom door over here. So this one, this one, and then on three, we'll place another spruce wood step like so. Then behind it, we'll place two dark oak wood planks. And then we'll place another sort of four over here. And another two this way as well, to the left of the step. Then we'll place another upside down spruce wood step besides our normal one and then on the upside down one we can place an oak leaf just like so gives the whole underside of the staircase a little bit of decor which is awesome now then not this block but this block up from the bathroom door we'll stick a dark oak wood plank block and then we'll stick some lanterns underneath that as well now this is kind of symbolizing again where the staircase will be sort of going up to the second floor so it's going to look weird at the moment, but once we've got it in there, it will look awesome. Okay, I think we're about ready to get some new materials. Alright guys, so we're actually going to build the main sort of lobby staircase today. Because I just went and thought, you know what, it'd actually look really cool if we just plonked it in there today. And then we can work on the second floor, you know, in the next part and then not have to worry about some staircases. So we're going to grab some spruce fence, oak saplings, a flower pot, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block and smooth quartz slab. Now first things first, let's take our spruce fence. We'll stick them one here and one here. So that is on the inside of the sort of lobby area before you reach the sort of porch area for the door. Then we'll stick flower pots on top of the fences with oak saplings in on both sides like so. Now what we'll do is we're going to take ourselves our dark oak wood steps and we're going to go a block in from the wall again so we're kind of matching up with where the uh, spruce wood kind of chair is over there. We're going to do these for two rows like this going up until we reach about four lots of these like so. On the underside we'll just fill them in with planks, dark oak wood planks of course and even up to the top there up to here. Now once we've got to this one so we've got the one sort of block with a lantern underneath for the bathroom door we'll actually go ahead and add one block on either side of it and then another row along like so. Now down here, kind of next to the lantern to the left, we'll go ahead and stick upside down dark oak wood stairs like so. Then we can go ahead and place ourselves a normal block of quartz just here. Two upside down stairs facing towards the front door this way. And it also kind of connects up to that block that's holding the lantern on just there. And then we'll start to come back down with some upside down stairs in line with our normal facing stairs like so. So this gets a little bit awkward to place them. So if you need to pick block your hedge back, your leaves back, sorry, and then sort of place it back afterwards, then that is totally cool. Like so. And then we can go ahead and take our fence and we can go one, two, three, four. And then once you get to here, 
we can go ahead and sort of build a long. So we're just going to place one here. Then I'm going to place a quartz block just here like so. Then I'm actually going to place another quartz block here. An upside down uh, stair just here. I almost said hair. And then we'll stick a quartz slab besides that and underneath, if that makes sense. So diagonally down from it. Then we'll go ahead and stick two quartz blocks up here. Spin around to this side. Stick a dark oak wood stair just here. And one just here. You can of course stick your planks underneath for two again, like so. But I'd recommend using this one as a quartz, just so it lines up with the rest of the build down here. What I was also going to do is stick another block of quartz just here, on top of that one that's holding the lantern on. And then a slab out from that stair, just like so. It's a very three-dimensional shape, and it looks a bit confusing, but it's not too bad once you get going with it. And then we can go ahead and stick a quartz block here. And then one, two, three, just along there like so. Now I'm going to go double check things, but I'm pretty sure that's looking awesome. Um, so yeah, great job. So yeah, that is looking perfect. Now the one thing I did miss is of course some more spruce fence. One just here. One, two, three, just there. And then another three on top of the quartz blocks over there. Perfect. That's looking great. Okay, now the next thing we'll add is a little sort of unit at the top of the staircase. We're actually going to do two of these. So we're going to go upside down stair in the corner there. And another one just here. Then I'll do another one just over here, and another one just there, like so. And then on top of those two little units, at the top of the stairs, we'll place just flower pots on top of them, like so. On the end ones, so this right side one, and on the far left one, we can just stick ourselves some oak saplings, and then fill in the rest of them with whichever flower of your choice. On my original, I used some red tulips, because I thought they looked really tall, and they kind of stick out a little bit from the uh, oak sapling. So, yeah, just switch it up however you like. Now then, going right to the back of our lobby, you'll notice that we have this small little room at the back. This is going to be just for a little under the stairs sort of toilet. Unfortunately, this is not where Harry Potter lives. It is going to be for a bathroom toilet sort of use. So we're going to take ourselves some quartz bricks, first of all, and just replace these planks in the floor with these quartz bricks, just to make it look like a bathroom. If you'd like to do the one under the door as well, and then replace the door again, then feel free to do so. I completely forgot about that before I started putting in my doorway, so that is my bad. I'll do that afterwards. Next, we'll take ourselves some quartz quartz bars, iron bars even, some weighted pressure plates. This is just going to be the iron looking one. Block of iron, a lever, iron trap doors, quartz stairs, there's the quartz, cauldron, and a tripwire hook for now. Over in this left side corner, so this one over here, actually in line with the staircase, we'll place ourselves one, two, blocks of iron up in the corner like so, with the weighted pressure plate on top. Down at the bottom, sticking out from it, we'll stick an upside down quartz stair like so. On top of that we'll stick an iron trapdoor, just with the toilet lid. Then a lever out to the right of the uh, top iron block. And then we'll stick one, two, three iron bars up the side of that, just for like a chain flush toilet. Then we'll spin around over here, we'll stick a cauldron in the corner, just like so with a tripwire hook over there, just above it. Another upside down quartz stair in the corner, just like that. And then we need to grab some materials. Okay, so we've grabbed ourselves some white stained glass panes, an item frame, a water bucket, if you'd like to fill your sink up, and a banner pattern of your guys' choice. So I'm gonna go to, besides my toilet, to the right of the sort of lid, I'm gonna stick a banner pattern in an item frame, just there like so. Boom. And then across here, I'll stick my water in my cauldron for the sink. And then above the trip by hook for these two blocks along the sort of cabinet unit, I'll just stick myself a little mirror represented with some white stained glass panes. All right, let me go and fill in that door down there with uh, some more quartz bricks under it. And then uh, we'll get, grab some new materials. Now then, we'll come to the right side of our house and the right side of our lobby area. And we'll be building in this big area just here. This is going to be our dining area. So we'll take some dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, a lantern, torches, item frames, spruce doors, spruce trap doors, a bell, and some white wool. Now then, we'll go to the right side of the doorway over here. So this is actually the doorway that takes you into the lobby. We'll go over here, and I'll block away from the wall. We'll go into here, and we'll place one, two, three dark oak wood planks going up the wall like so. A block away, we'll do another three. Then the bottom, in between them, we'll stick an upside down stair here, with a lantern on top. 
and then an upside down stair above the lantern like so. Now across the doorway over here, I block in again, we'll go one, two, three, upside down, dark oak wood stairs like so. A torch goes on either side of it like that, and then we'll put an item frame in the middle of it like so. Cool. Sorry I said like so a lot there guys. Alright, so the next step, we need to go to this back middle wall. We're going to go a block in from both sides again, and we'll place one, two, three, four blocks of planks going up the side there, and another Thor this side like so. Then on the bottom, we'll place three, and then we'll place basically three rows of upside down dark oak wood stairs until we reach the top. On the second row down from the top, we'll place some torches, one on both sides like so. Now over here, we'll place ourselves three upside down dark oak wood stairs. We'll actually go ahead and start next to this doorway. So one, two, three, like that. Then we'll place a torch just in the corner there. A bell on the side like so. So it's got the cool looking stone sort of structure bits that hold it up. And then we'll place an item frame on the side like so. Cool. Then we'll go across from the doorway and we'll place another one of these little units. This time a block in. One, two, three, and a block away from that wall as well. This time we'll place an item frame on the left side. A lantern goes in the middle and then a torch on this right side like so. Now the torches are not really supposed to light up the place in this sort of room. They're just for looking like candlesticks perhaps or, you know, stuff that's uh, display pieces that are too small to actually be made in Minecraft. So we kind of have to represent it with small items like torches. Alright, that's cool. Okay, so let's go over to this back wall. Now this gets a little bit weird because we do actually have to build something that's not in line with the middle. So we don't use the two blocks. We only use the, the left one over here. So from this left side, we'll go next to it to the right for one. And then we'll start to build on this one just here. We'll place a dark oak wood plank block at the bottom. We'll go either side of it and place spruce doors up like so. So they actually surround the plank block and then one block above it. The block above it will stick a bell out from the wall and then we'll stick a plank block above that as well. On the plank block we'll stick trap doors going on both sides and then we'll also stick a trap door folded up along the bottom block like so. An item frame can go on that block and then we'll stick a trap door on that middle like so. Wicked. Okay that is going to be for our grandfather clock. We're going to have to grab a clock later on but uh, at the moment that is looking good. All right, now we need to build the big dining table. The thing that basically makes this a dining room. So we're gonna go a block in from this cabinet. So leave this one empty, go to here and place one dark oak wood stair like so. In front of it, place a white wall block like that. And then out from the sides, we'll place a plank block like that. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks like so. And we're also going to do the same this side. And then I'm going to fill in those five just like so. Well, there's six as well, like so. Cool. So you basically have a very, very large table here. Then we're going to take our stairs again. And we're going to go a block away down the sides. So we have four chairs on both sides. Now, don't worry about placing a stair down here. Because, of course, we can't. Because the grandfather clock is kind of in the way. But that is ready to... Uh, be filled up with some dining table type things. All right, let's grab some new bits and bobs. Okay, so to finish off our dining room, we're grabbing some white banners, some white carpet, horn coral fan, just a yellow looking one, an item frame again, because there's always one that slips past my grasp and I forget to place it down. So I'm just gonna stick this one on the white wall block in front of that seat like so. That is my bad guys, I'm so sorry. Then we'll take some gold horse armor. We'll take a clock. A map of your guys' choice. My map looks a bit weird at the moment. We're going to take some white stained glass panes and some brick block once again. Regarding our banners, we'll stick them in between our seats around our dining table. You can also do it around here, but obviously you have to miss off that one because the trap door's in the way. So, all the way around the table, next to the seats like so. Our white carpet goes all the way across the table for a big sort of tablecloth like that and then our horn coral fan sticks down here for Kevin's seat where he's eating his mac and cheese and uh, waiting for the burglars to kind of come around his house 
So we'll take our gold horse armor next. We'll place it on these sideboards over here. Spin it round so it's the right way. Nice one. Then we'll take a clock, stick it above our grandfather clock over here. And then our map is going to go in this item frame over here like so. That looks very, very weird. <laughs> but it'd be cool. All right. Let's take our white stained glass pane over in this doorway. We'll go ahead and stick one, two, three, four on both sides and then fold it along as we did the other side earlier on in the video. Then we'll take brick block and go across the doorway for those three blocks like so. So now we have an opening that's quite small, but it does the job like that. Awesome. Let's now move on to this room. All right. So once you're on the right side of your house, we're going to take ourselves some dark oak wood planks. Dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slab, lanterns, brown carpet, bookshelves, grindstone, and some spruce trap doors. We'll go ahead and use our dark oak wood planks first of all. So we'll go to the back over here in this little cubby hole, and we'll go ahead and make one, two, three, four planks go up the back wall like so. Leave a two block gap and do the same over here. Then we'll go ahead and take our stairs. We'll place them the right way up one two three like so then we'll take our slabs and go two across like that then we'll go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs again and place two upside down like so and we can stick a lantern on top of that upside down one in there like that cool now you want to go ahead and make another one of these cabinets over here so around the sort of diagonal corner we'll go one two three four again leave a two block gap and place another four then we'll go ahead and make our left side our normal stairs up for three two oak dark oak wood slabs going across like so and then our upside down dark oak wood stairs like that with our lantern on top on the right side if you guys do need to pause the video because i'm going too quick or anything please absolutely feel free to do so let's take our stairs again and we're going to go ahead and line it up with this corner one like this so we'll go just to here and place one facing the window like that. Then we'll place a normal facing one and then one curved in to that wall over there. Brown carpet will go along the front of the, the uh, sofa, just the three blocks. Now we're gonna have to place a couple blocks to remove them. So we'll place a plank just here that we're gonna remove, an upside down stair that we're gonna keep just here, remove our plank, a wood slab just there next to our upside down stair. And then we'll place a plank to remove it in a second because we want to place an upside down stair just there for our table. Next, we can stick another row of carpet for three along like so. Then another chair facing the window, another one facing the other sofa, and then another chair kind of curved round facing that unit over there for a little kind of table and chairs. Nice. All right, now what we'll do is build this final sort of setup in here. So over in this back left corner, facing the front window, we'll place one, two, three, four blocks going up like so on this fourth one on the sort of slab width down we'll place two slabs going across like so and then build another four block pillar over on that left side then we'll go a slab up from the bottom block and place slabs oh, oh no <laughs> slabs in there like so perfect and then we'll place four bookshelves for a total of in there like so then we'll take ourselves some dark oak wood stairs. We'll go place one here facing that other wall. Then we'll go in front of the window and place one facing that other one. Two dark oak wood slabs in between them like so. A lantern on that block. A grindstone block on this far left one, which we might just stand it on the table like so. And then a spruce trap door over on that far right one. Then we'll come into the middle of our unit down here and we'll place two steps facing one another for a little seat like that. Two planks behind it, and then two stairs facing away from each other, like so, for a nice big chair, like so. Then we'll go ahead and stick one, two, three, four blocks in the corner. A block away, we'll place another four, and then we're gonna use slabs to make a shelf here. So four slabs going between a slab block away, like so. That is awesome. This room is now completed and we can work on our final section, which is our kitchen slash dining, second dining room, if you like, over here. 
I'm so sorry this is a long video guys, if you do want to like take a break and come back tomorrow or the next day or the next week or something, please absolutely feel free to do so, these tutorials are not going anywhere. Alright, if you're still with us, let's grab the new materials and get doing this section. Now then, onto our kitchen and second sort of dining area. We're going to take some dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood stairs once again, smooth quartz block, spruce fence, smooth quartz stairs, brick block, an iron door, a spruce pressure plate and some brown banners. For our brown banners, we'll stick them on this window here, the one that's kind of incorporated into the corner. But on the inside, we'll place one, two brown banners going along our quartz blocks like so. Now then, in front of this one on the left side, we'll go ahead and stick a spruce pressure plate on the floor like so. And now I'm actually going to pick block myself some spruce wood planks from my banners. This I'll go ahead and use over here, just right the way along there, like so. Then I can stick an iron door just there, like that. Or whichever way you want it to face really, doesn't really matter too much. Then I can take my brick block and place two to the left of it, and then I can go ahead and kind of fold it over the door, like so. Now above the door, I'll place myself one, two planks like so. And then I'll go ahead and stick myself another two upside down, dark oak wood stairs above our brown banners like so and to the left of that I'll place one smooth quartz one just like that now then behind our smooth quartz stair we'll place one two smooth quartz blocks so one's connected and one's kind of going down then I'll place a third one just underneath like so because then I can go ahead and bring this out and connect it to the floor like that then I'll go ahead and add one block in just there and then we can put fence on it afterwards. All right, next we'll take our dark oak wood stairs and we'll place two just here. Then our smooth quartz block will go one, two, three out from that wall just there and two out from the second row up like that. Then we'll take our spruce fence. We'll place one here and two just here. We'll place two over here, another two just here, and then we'll use the rest later on. We'll take our dark oak wood planks. We'll go two just here then we'll go ahead and place two dark oak wood stairs just there in line with our fence another two just up from that and then a final two just up from that then we'll go ahead and make our planks go up like that then we'll go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs again place uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and place myself some just here and then final two just here then I'll take my smooth quartz block again, place one on top of our upside down stair just like so. So then I can place fence just here and then I can go ahead and place fence on top of that one just there like so. Now I can actually run myself one, two, three, four, five blocks along like that. And then we'll go ahead and sort of connect this up to where the wall would be just over here. And that should also line up with these ones below. And then we can fence this all along like that perfect that's ready for the second floor all right so now then underneath of our staircase we need to go ahead and make sure that we can still access our basement but also not kind of crush our head on the way up and down so we're going to go ahead and take our brick block build in these two just here replace this quartz block with brick block just like so so it kind of angles up like that go inside so where our basement stairs would be go to your second sort of stair up so one and two stand on it and look directly above and bring this dark oak plank block down like so then we'll go ahead and take our spruce wood planks build these two in like that so you can still kind of get up and down there and then we'll take our dark oak wood planks and we'll build this along in line with our spruce wood plank just like so so we'll build this the whole way along over to here and build this up to the roof site sort of height just like that and then we can actually go ahead and fill this over and fill that one in like that so it kind of tears up again and hides our quartz so there we go it's kind of enclosed it looks pretty cool and you can also add one final step in here and then another final dark oak wood plank block just like that next to our door all right there we go that is awesome and also one last pressure plate so you can get out as well <laughs> yeah that's awesome okay let's grab the final materials we need so taking ourselves some spruce leaves, quartz bricks, 
quartz stairs, white stained glass panes, torch, oakwood planks, oakwood stairs, item frames and some spruce wood slabs. What we're first of all going to do is take our quartz bricks. We'll go to this big long wall over here with the two doors going into the main dining room and we'll go a block in on both sides and place one, two, three, four, uh, five blocks like so of quartz bricks. Next layer up we'll place five upside down quartz stairs like so. Then on both sides we'll go one, two, three quartz bricks up like so. Then we'll connect them up with three over the middle and then in the middle we'll place two just like so. Kind of looks like it's got eyes. Well for the eyes we need to go ahead and place some white stained glass panes like so. That actually really does look like a face. <laughs> That's weird. Alright then we'll stick a torch just over here. Not on the fence but just above the fence for the staircase over there. We're actually going to go to this wall over here so to the right side of our window. We'll go to the third layer up just to here. We won't place one here. We'll place an item frame just here and go over like so. So you have one just there, four along and then drop down and place one just under that fourth one like so. We'll stick torches for two in that gap like so and then we'll go back over here and build our dining table. So we'll go the second block along so we're in line with our white stained glass panes. Leave this block off on the floor and place a dark oak wood stair just a block away from that cabinet like so. Then we'll place three planks just like that in front of the stair. We'll build another three planks. We'll go ahead and stick a stair this side on that first row of planks and one just there. We're basically using the same system we did over here with leaving a block gap between our sort of seats. So we need to add another row of seats. So we need to add another row of planks basically like so. And we want three rows of seats this time. So we've got two. Let's add another row of planks and a final row of planks just like that. So we can stick our final chairs on and then one seat down here as well. This one has the seats on both sides. Down this way, in line with this stair and this block over here in between these two chairs, we'll go ahead and stick planks, uh, sorry, slabs like so. And then we'll build a block with our slabs like that. Now that is representing the pizza boxes that they have in the first film. Then we'll stick ourselves some item frames on the table. So one just here, one just a block away from that block in the middle, and then one, two, either side, diagonal down from that middle one, like that. That is looking epic. Okay, for our leaves, we'll go ahead and place them just over here, like so, so kind of surrounding the quartz of the staircase. And then I think we need to grab some new materials. Yep. Awesome. We're making great progress. Okay, so to get our kitchen done in our mansion, we're first of all going to need some dark oak wood planks, some brown carpet, some shroom lights, some black concrete, some black stained glass panes, some black banners, nether brick block, nether brick slab, sorry, a dark oak sign, and four smokers. Let's go to the left of our back door and place one, two planks in there like so. Leave a one block gap and place another one just here. Up from this, leave this block gap and place two on the quartz just like so. And then above these two, we'll place a cluster of four up there next to the window to the right like so. Now to the left of this one block with the two above it, we're going to stick two, three, four, five, six um, blocks of black concrete for our fridge. Then we'll place ourselves one, two, three um, black stained glass panes. And then we'll go ahead and stick nether brick slab up here, like so. Now, if you didn't like the uh, nether brick, um, sorry, the uh, black stained glass panes, just all three along there, you could, of course, narrow it down to just the one. But uh, I actually quite like the handle, the big, long handle for our big fridge. So uh, I'm going to keep that one there just at the moment. It should look better once we finished it. So to finish it, we'll place two black banners down the left side of it, like so. We're also going to need some more item frames, but we'll come back and do that later because we also need to plot some more around the kitchen. Wicked. Alright, let's take our dark oak signs. We're going to run these along the bottom of our cabinets. And the second line down, we're just going to put two sort of brackets like so. So let's do it on all of the bottom top cupboards, if that makes sense. So the, the top cupboards up here, but the bottom block on all of these. Okay, now for our brown carpet and our stream lights. We're going to go ahead and go a block away from our door. So leave this block, go to here and leave this one. 
then we'll go to here and we'll go one two three along so we're on our right side so actually in line with this brick block pillar then we're going to go ahead and knock out the floor underneath these now we've marked them out and we'll do this up to about four blocks so we're at the end of the fridge basically like that then we'll fill it up with some stream lights and then we can put brown carpet over the top like this just to light up the kitchen without any visible lights on the sort of ground level. Now then for our next bit we're going to take our dark oak grid planks again. We're going to go to here so we're not actually on this one and we're not actually on this one we're going to go to basically two blocks away from our door and on three we'll place planks all the way to the corner like so. Then we'll turn the corner and we'll go right the way along until we're in line with the glass pane at the end here. Perfect. Now we want to go ahead and add in our cabinets above, so a cluster of four goes here, besides our quartz of our window. We'll do a one by one in here, so up for two, and then we'll do a cluster of four over here as well, like so. Now we can of course go ahead and use our signs again, so the brackets on the bottom ones, like that, like that again. We'll do this one facing forward, because obviously it's on a little bit of an angle, which makes it a little bit awkward, that's okay. And then we'll do these two as well like so. Now then we need to go ahead and build our breakfast bar. Now this is a little bit awkward because we have to sort of plot it in the middle of the room. So to do that we're going to take our nether brick slab first of all. We're going to place another one underneath this second sort of cabinet block. So just there. Then we'll go along to here and we can actually start to plot our breakfast bar. So we've got a block on the floor, leave this one empty, go to here and build basically two lots like so. We'll build a cluster of four like that. Then we can put our smokers besides that cluster of four planks. Then we'll take our dark oak wood planks again and build two rows of three, like so. And then we'll build another cluster of four just here so that it finishes where the wall finishes, like that. That is looking epic. Okay, I think that is all the materials we have used at the moment. So I'm going to go grab some more and I'll be right back. So now that we have the basic structure of our kitchen in here, we can now go ahead and add the appliances. So we're going to take some smooth quartz block, item frames once again, white stained glass panes, cauldron, tripwire hook, an oak fence gate, dark oak trap doors, levers, and some iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and stick our smooth quartz block underneath this cabinet over here. It's going to have an item frame on it, and that item frame is going to be filled with some white stained glass panes. We'll stick our oak fence gate just here, open, facing towards our sort of our quartz block in the corner. Then we'll stick a cauldron here with a tripwire hook above it for our little tap. And then we'll finally stick a white stained glass pane over on this left side, like so. Now we'll fold dark oak trap doors along the four blocks of our cabinet over on the left side of our door. Wicked. Alright, now we'll go over to this other side, so over here. We will take ourselves some white stained glass panes. We'll stick two just here. We'll stick another two just here. And then we'll stick ourselves a dark oak trap door just here. Then I'm going to go ahead and swap out my white stained glass panes with a white stained glass block. And I'm going to stick it just beside my nether brick kind of slab just like that. And then I'm going to stick an item frame on the front of it like so. Awesome. I'm also going to stick an item frame just here. And then I'm going to stick one finally just over here. Cool. Okay. Next, we'll take ourselves our uh, levers and our trap tripwire hooks. Sorry, our trap doors. We will go ahead and stick a trap door just here. It doesn't really matter which way you face this, as long as it's going to come up sort of at the front of the block. Oh, which you may have to sort of go down the chute here and stick it on the quartz bricks on the inside, like that, and it should fold in. Yeah, there we go. Or above, you know, so it folds sort of from the uh, top down, if that makes sense. So like to here. Let's just test that. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and stick some trapdoors on here. Now, to fold these ones up, you're going to have to break down to your basement a second and stick ourselves only three levers. So make like a weird corner shape like this, missing off this smoker, and place levers on the underside of our smokers, which is a little bit awkward because we're going to need to sort of crouch click to do this like this, and then we'll stick our trapdoors on. Fold them up. This one as well. A little bit of destruction. There we go. And then we can go ahead and fill this back over. 
with our necessary blocks for the job. Like this. Sorry about having to destroy things, guys. Try not to, if I can, but um, it is tricky every now and again. Just replace that one there. Okay, so there we go. They fold up and kind of look like um, the grill or something. Like the hob. They make they make the hob on top, even. <laughs> I really need to learn some kitchen appliances. Alright, I'm going to go grab some new materials. If you quickly just want to grab yourself the spruce pressure plate from over at this door and stick it on the back door, that would also add a little bit of detail. And it makes it a lot easier to get out of the door there. Perfect. Alright, I'll be right back. So now we will go ahead and take ourselves some black stained glass, some black concrete, a lever once again, iron bars, a crimson trap door, a flower pot, spruce sapling, oak wood stairs, and an acacia trap door. We will go ahead and stick a oak wood stair on this corner of the breakfast bar, and a block away, in line with our laundry chute, we'll stick another one just here, like so. Now we can go to the middle of these two chairs, and on the corner, the inside corner, we'll stick one on the sort of sideboard here, facing towards the dining table. That should have an acacia trap door behind it, faced up, so it looks like a knife block, so you can uh, store the kitchen knives in there and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Alright, next what we'll do is we'll take our flower pot, we will stick it on the end over here, so the final block of our sort of sideboard, with a spruce sapling in like so. Then we'll stick a crimson trap door to the left of that. Then we'll take our iron bars and put two along here, so one goes underneath our unit up here, and one is connected to our quartz. Then we'll go a block away from that, leaving that one, we'll go to here and place a TV. So we'll stick one black concrete block here and a lever facing whichever way you like really. Just for a little antenna. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll stick our black concrete, our black stained glass even, over in this block over there. And uh, yeah, we need to grab some more new materials. I promise you guys we are almost there. I'm so sorry this has taken a while. We're now going to take ourselves some oak wood slabs, some quartz slabs, ladder, oak fence, oak pressure plates, brewing stand, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, and an oak trap door. Let's take our slabs first of all and make a block in front of this window, just like so. Then we'll go ahead and stick a quartz slab on the top of it like that. And this is actually going to be for a gingerbread house. So we'll stick a ladder on the side like so, and then we'll come back to finish that later. We'll now take ourselves our fence, and we'll go ahead and stick a fence just here, next to our breakfast bar. Then we'll go ahead and stick one on the smoker, like so. Then we'll stick one the other side of the smoker, like that. And then final, a uh, final one just here, sort of in line with the stair. Then we'll stick some pressure plates on top of these for little breakfast bar stalls. Cool. In front of this one, we'll go ahead and stick a brewing stand, like that. Then we'll take ourselves our oak wood uh, slabs again and we'll build a one block two block three block pillar just over here in the corner then we'll take ourselves our trap doors and we'll fold trap doors up the front of it and one on the top as well now we can take ourselves our stairs we'll go one two three and on the fourth one we'll curve it in so it's next to the laundry chute like so we'll stick spruce trap doors sorry spruce slabs on both sides and then underneath our torches, we'll stick normal stairs like that. Now that is supposed to be like a, a dresser or something like that in the kitchen. I'm really not sure what it is. Kind of looks like some a chest of drawers or something like that. Um, if anyone knows what that might be, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, and uh, yeah, we ne now need to grab the final materials. Hopefully the final materials. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so to fill our item frames, we will take some oak doors. Item frame once again, this one is just going to go over here. Then we'll take a honey bottle, a pumpkin pie, cake, cookie, an uh, enchanted book of your guys' choice, and one bit of paper. Now for our enchanted book and our paper, we're going to stick two item frames over on the side of the fridge, and then we'll stick our enchanted book on the bottom one, and our paper on the top like so. Just for the little drawings that people put in their fridges and stuff like that. Our door is going to go on our gingerbread house over here. Then we'll stick our honey bottle next to our smokers, preferably facing the front like so. We'll stick a pumpkin pie on here for Kevin's cheese pizza that uh, Buzz eats because he's mean. And then we'll stick another pumpkin pie over here on the table. We'll stick a cake over here, a cookie in this one, and another cake over here, all representing some pizza, like so. Okay, 
As for these ones, we need to go ahead and fill them up with heads and one white banner. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom, grab my white banner, then I'll go back up for my heads. I always struggle to find them. There they are. So any heads, preferably not the dragon one because it's way too big. So we're just going to use some random ones. So Steve head in there, zombie head there, creeper one there. I'm going to put a skeleton skull over here and I'm going to put my white banner down here. Now this one, I could use a wither skeleton skull, but I'm actually going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to scroll right to the bottom to the redstone section and I'm going to use an observer because it does look like a face on the front there. And that just kind of finishes up the build quite nicely. There we go. I know there's some stuff hanging from the ceiling, but because we haven't got a ceiling just yet, it would be kind of a bit pointless doing it at the moment and then sort of struggling to build the next episode. So um, yeah, we'll get onto that when we get onto it really. But um, thank you so much for watching this release of some video guys. I am so sorry it's been a super long episode. I really wasn't expecting it to be this long. I was trying to make it into like a 30 minute video. But um, because we have so many materials to fill up this house with, it does take a lot longer than expected. So um, please forgive me for that. I am so sorry. If you guys do want to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it, that would be really really awesome. And that would just be amazing to see. If you'd also like to stick around for the rest of the series coming very, very soon, we do have part four on the way shortly. Is this part three? Yeah, I think it's part three. So part four will be on the way very, very soon. Um, definitely consider subscribing if you are new around here. That would really, really help me out. Thank you once again, everybody. You take care. I'll try and have a short video for you guys next time. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, of course, and have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye for now, everyone. Thank you so much once again.